Welcome to the No Culture Fitness of Moms Who Lift podcast, where we bring you real people, real stories, with an action plan to match your goals. A circle comes up. What do you mean a circle? Above your head. Like a record button. Oh, that's okay. That, You're not going to see that. on your head. I was elevated to a saint status. <laughs> I got elevated. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Moms Who Lift. My name is Yana, and I have my co-host. Hey there, I'm Larissa. And we are super excited to um, start our first episode for this podcast. Um, We actually have been thinking about doing this for quite some time. And of course, um, during the quarantine that we're actually stuck in right now, um, and the amount of... um, you can say stress that everyone is under. We thought this would be the most uh, beneficial time to actually start a podcast that will help um, anyone who is into fitness, maybe thinking into getting to, into fitness and just needs that extra little uh, motivation and push in order to kind of um, make your days go a little bit easier. Me and L have been discussing kind of uh, our pain points, and I figured that some of the pain points that we have, you probably have as well and we wanted to kind of bring it into light um anything that is related to fitness and uh nutrition and obviously parenting it doesn't matter it's going to be just all about life um uh, that we're going to be kind of talking about these are going to be short 10 uh 10 to 15 minute segments all going to be topic based Um, and uh kind of our first topic is going to be for the day is in terms of um being able to exercise at home while you're stuck at home It seems like it should be easy because there's nothing else to do. But it doesn't seem to be easy. It's hard to get actually going. And then once you get going, to keep going. Even every day with an exercise. I think at least we seem to found it for us. Yeah, and so kind of talking onto the topic, it's that, you know, majority of us, regardless of where we are in our lives and our day-to-day lives, um, I kind of see that there's four categories to people. You have your fitness, fitness fanatics who are the individuals who love the gym, who are in there not seven days a week, but more like eight days a week. And that's definitely me and Larissa and probably quite a few of you listeners. But, um, you know, those there's a you know, the second category is uh, for the uh, fitness enthusiasts who are kind of like your weekend warriors and they. They get in and, and, and get the job done as needed. They, you know, do the, re- the races and that's kind of what they what they live for. Um, and then you have your third crowd who kind of hate working out and um, really, really need that kind of kick in the ass uh, uh, help with a trainer. Um, and then obviously you have the non-exercisers. And where I'm kind of leading to this is that at least I would say majority of the individuals um, would visit the gym, would go to the gym and they actually have a set routine that they would follow um, in order to be able to get their, uh, you know, uh, weekly or even daily, you know, um, movement in. And right now that all the gyms are closed, obviously, we all have to try to adjust to a new norm. And that norm is trying to actually stay healthy and fit while at home. And this poses, I think, a big challenge, not only to the uh, people at home, but to us who are fitness professionals, who are fitness enthusiasts and are just, you know, uh, live and breathe this stuff, we struggle just like you. Yeah, here's the deal. It's hard to exercise or to do anything when you are stressed and overthinking and hyper-focused on other things. And I think for all the categories of people right now to actually do something that they typically would do, or typically wouldn't do, it's hard, because we're not doing what we typically do. We wake up, we don't know half of the time what day it is. You will start doing things, and then before we know, I am actually talking about you and I, yeah, because we talked about it. We, before we know it, the day is over. 
And right. so getting to do something, especially in a different place. If there are a few people that exercise at home, and I think those people are kind of in luck. And even those people, I spoke with a couple, some of them are like, oh my God, this is the best thing. Now I don't have to worry about going to the gym. I have all my <laughs> stuff at home. So I'm, I'm good. That's what I've been planning for. And then you have people that pick up that stuff that they have at home, they haven't used, and they're like, okay, what do I do with it? Okay, why don't I get that heart pump right away? It is hard to get that excitement of just doing something that you typically do. And I'm not even sure about that fourth category or whatever, the one that don't go to the gym. I guess now, I mean, is it a good time to start? Yeah, they... Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm not sure. You know what? I'll tell you like this. I think that with... Um... With Why anything not? that you start, it should always come in, uh, it's, it's small it's small pieces. And even if you don't exercise, can I tell you something? Even just going for a walk outside for 15 minutes has not, been come, shown no. through science to be so much beneficial than is, not doing I, anything is, at all. Is, I guess it is beneficial. But I, I, I mean, for someone who is who wants um, heart pump, for someone who wants the sweat, so this is, let's let's talk a little about the those people, because I think the those people are like, okay, well, what about that? The pump, the sweat. I get to exercise at home. I have limited equipment. And I try. At the gym, I always say, I, I need one dumbbell. And I can do anything. True. In the gym, I can. Yeah, I pick up the dumbbell. I look at it. I throw it down, and I start getting, <laughs> I start saying, fuck, I missed the gym. But it's That's really right. <laughs> so, I, so I think what I found it helpful in this last four weeks, what I found it helpful for me is I write down, what am I going to do? I write down for a week, this is this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this day and I'm going to do cardio. I'm going to do yoga on this day. So when it's on my schedule, it's not what I normally do or the time that I normally do. But when it's on my schedule, I actually do it. Then I realize, okay, well, it doesn't seem to work. I don't like doing yoga in the morning, so I need to change it. And for me, I don't like to quit. I don't like to write something down and then I don't do it. But it's okay. We need to learn that right now it's okay to be flexible. That's when, you know, something that we always say, be stubborn about your goals, flexible about the ways to get there. I always believe in that, but now this is the time to put this into action. It does work. Okay, you tried. You tried for a few days. It doesn't work. Don't get angry. Just change it. Maybe you don't like to start the day with yoga. Or maybe you want to finish the day with yoga. Fuck yoga. Maybe you're not ready to do yoga. Do something else. That walk, but not just walking. You really want to be, if you're fit, you want to pick it up to a, to a good pace. Yeah, if you're brand new, walk easy. But if you're not, if you're, like, if you're ready, if you're used to high, to high intensity cardio, better pick up that pace. So I think it's just adjusting to what you need and looking for that what you need is something that people need to do in order to feel a little bit sense of normalcy. And it's okay that we don't. It's okay that we don't. So when you so I think another thing is I just gonna before I forget, you look online, we we'll all look on social media, even people that usually don't, which me, but now I do. I still hate it, but I do. So you look at all these people exercising. Oh my god, they look so good, don't they? They sweat. Come on, sweat with me. We got it, we got it, we're gonna get fit. Really? Come on, try to sweat with someone you never met or try to do all these crazy moves you've never done. No, it's not so easy. It's really not. We're going to get there. We will get there. If you want to exercise and pick up a routine, just don't expect that no matter how easy it looks, it looks like this is something that you enjoy, that you truly enjoy. It's just trial and error, trial and error. I, 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 can't, I can't agree with you more. And I and I think the, um, the biggest uh, takeaway is that you know, for everyone, um, it's going to be different tactics and different strategies that are going to work for each individual. And it's not only going to be one, right? It's almost like building your toolbox with a variety of strategies, testing them out, seeing which ones work, putting into your working toolbox. And then the ones that don't work, you kind of store them away. And at least for me, um, I have obviously my, my kids are fairly still small. So for me, mornings, I can't really exercise. And the best thing that I can do is I actually started to implement every single morning from the time I wake up, from the time the kids wake up, I get them breakfast and we all of us go for a walk. This kind of starts the day of me moving a little bit. It's not a super long walk, but, you know, 15, 20 minutes 
of just getting some fresh air, that movement really kind of starts the day. And for me, I've also noticed that once the day winds down, um, for me, the best time to actually work out is at seven o'clock at night. Um, I have implemented this almost, you know, on a daily basis. And there are definitely some days where it's like, hey, I don't want to work out. And you know what? I don't beat myself up for it. I really don't. Um, it's not necessary that you're kind of uh, really, really firm on trying to get those workouts in every single day. It's sometimes it's just not going to happen. I think that's I just the- won't. As usual, it could be a slippery point because, you know me, I am more like, I'm just very um, rigid about my routine. And I feel, yes, you're right, not beating yourself up. But that's where we as a, actually, as a, um, another community where I'm doing, uh, in a whole, like, as all people come to, okay, it's okay not to do, but how many days it's okay not to do? How many days it's okay not to do? So some people would take it as like, Okay, well, I don't feel like working out today, tomorrow, the next day. Then the week pass by. I've done nothing. So I think it's on individual basis. But yes, you're right. Beating yourself up too much. I'm like, I'm more of a, like, you know, I, I'm more of a person that it's black or white, right? <laughs> Either I love you or I hate you. But it's okay to be somewhere in the middle. That's why we do have good conversations. Because I, it, it, there's a, the opinion that can be adjusted to, to many people rather than, you know, extreme extremist and um you are right. but i just want to tell you but normally your routine uh don't you typically work out at night in the afternoon right. most of the time so, so you kind of right gra- towards that. so i've kind of gravitated yeah i gravitated towards the same routine that i had you know before b- before we got quarantined so yes i used to work out after work mm-hmm. So right. that is kind of the same the same concept, Absolutely. but obviously my working out at home is very different it's, because I have yes. very minimal yes. minimal equipment, so I can't yeah. really get in the the type of workouts that I used that's, to get um, at the gym. So you know, it, it, to supplement it addition to it, yes. yeah, I go I I go for my walks outside. Um, obviously, we do our social distancing. <laughs> We keep six feet away from people <laughs> and, uh, you know, we uh, make sure that kind of, you know, we we get that extra movement in. And then I and I'll tell you like this, I, I, I can really feel the pain of uh, specifically parents who have children at home and who actually have to work because on top of, you know, having the kids that are being homeschooled, they now physically have to actually work and kind of juggle all of this together. And I think sometimes exercising for those individuals is the last thing that they have yeah. in their mind. Yes. And uh, I can really sympathize with you guys for that. But I think I think one thing we're very clear on is um, making almost a routine and putting it yeah. into your schedule really? so you can really kind of stay firm on knowing what you're going to do. And if yes. you're like me who has a variety of rainbows that you see, <laughs> it's okay to deviate knowing that if today – is not a good day to work out and you have mentally kind of said that to yourself, make sure that when tomorrow comes and even though you may not feel like doing it, you're going to put it in your book. And I'll tell you like this, just showing up and starting um, your uh, your planned workout is going to go a long way because once you start, I guarantee you, no matter how bad you feel, you're going to continue to do it. And well, I've been somewhere, through somewhere. this many, many times. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it definitely works. Listen, for me, I want to tell you, like, for me, it's totally, like, now, it's totally, I don't train at the time that I usually train. I don't, it's totally different. That's what's really hard. That's, I've been struggling since day one because I don't, I, I try to work a little bit with, uh, to do a little bit of work, and I try to sprinkle my workouts in between, and that's been very hard. But I've still been trying. So, I've been, this is something that I've been implementing, and I find it comforting mentally, to say, okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do a cardio workout at this time. Sometimes it doesn't work at that time, but I have it on my calendar on my that day, so I try to sprinkle it in or lift weights and be exactly specific. What am I going to do? Not just lift weights. I'm going to do my upper body or something. So I think it's just, it's, it's challenging for everyone. I never thought it would be challenging for me to actually exercise, but it's very, very, very challenging. So that's very interesting. I think it's it's good for people to know that someone else's struggles, not that it makes your struggles easier, but it makes you a little more uh, at peace knowing that it's not just you. At least for me, you know. Um, 
stay kind of in, in, in the realms and, and understand that people are going through the same exact things as you. Yeah. Yes. I think yeah. it's, it, it's, it's very, it's a very interesting time. And it's funny because sometimes I see people like want to commemorate this time and like to remember they take pictures. I won't take any picture. I, I just want, I'm kind of like, I keep saying I'm in a survival mode and, and I think it's okay. I mean, you don't have to be like everyone else. You're allowed to feel the way you want to feel. But this is why I think we wanted to talk about things because not everyone feels the same way. And it's good to hear someone else's opinion. For me, I'm in a survival mode. Yes, I need a routine, but I keep telling myself it's a temporary routine. I'm still not one of those people that, oh, I can't. This is exactly what I've been waiting for my whole life. I'm in the comfort <laughs> of my own home. No, screw that. Thank you. Um, stay to your um fitness goals, staying true, true to your fitness goals, or at least trying to maintain your fitness, whatever it may be. Is it possible to get to get some results and to get to get a fitness goal in? Certainly, but I think trying to maintain first and adapt some kind of a routine is very important. At least it was for me. And for you, when we talked about that, it was important to start doing something at home on a different schedule, maybe at a different time, with a different equipment without any equipment, having your head a million different things and not your usual things. So I think getting a fitness routine and staying fit, feeling like you got control over something is just, it's, it's been a struggle. And I, I completely agree. And I think um, the way uh, you said it beautifully was it is um, our ability to thrive in the chaos that we're kind of in right now. And um, I'm sure that every single one of you would love to hear every person's story if you guys have any comments or questions you can always email us um where we have social accounts i'm going to link everything uh below so you guys have the contact here um any of the stories that you guys are having anything that has inspired you or helped you um through your journeys um basically we're week five of quarantine at this point and um we uh yeah we just would love to stay connected with you uh getting um getting started on um, a different routine. Um, that's, that's the key, finding what you want to do. There's everyone, and of course, social media is flooded now with online fitness, all kind of online fitness, at-home workouts, uh, online workouts with a trainer, without trainer. And first thing is, do you stick to something that you, that you normally do or do you try something new? I think, I think you missed Pet's workout too. Which one? <laughs> Pets workout. <laughs> yeah. Right. You can, absolutely. You can work out. You can use your pet, your kid, whatever you can right. use as a way. If they are willing to. If they are, <laughs> yes. I mean, it just, you want to try. At first, I'm sure some people are like, oh, that's exciting. Let me try this. Let me try that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Exciting, ex new excitement in the workout. But I think what I find personally is when it's something new, I don't go all out. I don't tend to get my workout in. Rather, I'm like, oh, how does that work? Or let me try this way, that way. Even if it's a piece of equipment or the exercise. So I think, you know, what are you looking for? I mean, are you are you just a beginner? Okay, try then. You of course you try something that looks interesting, but I think but if you are a gym goer, the one that used to going to the gym and sweating or getting the heart pump, whatever is your workout of choice if it's variety, you wanna try to stimulate something at home, something that gives you that sense of normalcy. And it will it's gonna give a satisfaction, like a certain a sense of satisfaction or sense of peacefulness of that's what a lot of people are looking for something familiar in this unfamiliar clusterfuck. Everyone feels different about our situation. And without going into politically to who is who is right or who is wrong or who I agree with more, everyone is not, I, I hate the word entitled, but everyone is allowed and I respect everyone's opinion. You want to commemorate this time making glamorous pictures and masks? Great, fine. If, if that's who you are. For me personally, I want zero memories of that. This is a survival mode for me personally. So if you are, so it doesn't matter how you feel about this. If you're in a survival mode, just embrace it. Find the routine that works for you. 
It doesn't have to be something that you do forever. You don't have to think about it. It's a, your temporary, but, but within that satisfies your needs for right now. If that's what you, it's what makes you feel good thinking, then that should be it. Just finding something that brings you satisfaction at the moment. I agree. And I think some of the, the key takeaways kind of uh, that people can implement that we both agree on is obviously the first one is making sure you make a plan, you write it down, you actually physically put it either in your phone, into your calendar, or you make that mental note as to, you know, specifically the day and the hour of when you're trying to work out and what type of workout you're going to do. Um, I think that's really going to help you yes. a, a long ways. And staying accountable and making sure that you're actually doing them. And, you know, um, obviously, the there, like we said, there's going to be many toolbox. Uh, there's going to be many, many different ways that you're going to be able to kind of ch challenge yourself with it and allow yourself to keep going. But I think uh, making sure that it's going to be a kind of like a trial and error and understanding that it's okay if something does not work for you. It just didn't work. That does not mean you're a failure. That does not mean it's never going to work again. It's just not working at this particular moment for you. So, you know, um, like I said, I think that works, try something else, but keep going forward. It's okay, Absolutely. To, but doing something every day. Something Absolutely. Every, every single day, put one foot in front of the other. We're going to keep moving forward. Yep. You guys, we're going to be putting out new content every single week. So if you like the content, please hit subscribe and, uh, you can always leave us comments below, send us emails. Um, we definitely would love to connect with every single one of you and hear your stories and um, answer any questions you have. Yeah, we'll give us ideas for our next discussion too, maybe. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we will be bringing in some um, wonderful individuals probably to uh, interview at some point.